let's get one thing straight. When it comes to the whole idea of right and wrong, proper behavior, decorum, if you want to call it that, that's what I call it, and actually doing the right thing. It really doesn't exist most of the time. We live in a world that is socially Darwinistic. It's social Darwin. It's about event, it's about who has the best advantage. That's what it's about, it's about advantage. No one cares about right and wrong. All they care about is winning. All they care about is staying out of trouble. Many times I've been accused of things that I never did. And uh, everything from looking somebody the wrong way, everything from saying things that I never really said. I would say one thing, but it says, uh, what'd you say to me or whatever like that? And then I said, uh, and of course, the, the music was loud. It was at, at, at a bar. And then when I said, no, I didn't say that to you. I said this. And then they still don't want to believe me. And as a result, they try to pick a fight with me. I, said, I just told you that that's not, that's not what I said. I said this. And no matter how much effort I put into trying to correct the whole thing and, and to get them to understand that that's not what I said or that's not what I did, they still stick to their guns. Now, either they're too proud to admit that they're wrong or there's something wrong with them in their head. Do they actually still believe in their head that I, that I said this or I did this? But whatever the case is, it seems to me that the ones that are the real aggressors are the ones that are basically getting away with it. And I've seen that a lot with other people. I've seen that with, um, like for example, I'll give, you an, I'll give you an example. Let's just say that there was a, a beautiful girl that I liked. And some other guy who was a big time asshole, an, an alpha male, pretty much stole my thunder. She liked me, but not that much because I was too much of a nice guy. I thought that's the kind of guys you like. You know, she doesn't like nice guys. She likes, she likes, um, subconsciously, she wants the bad boy. He becomes, um, a serious narcissistic asshole. And he ends, he ends up, um, sabotaging me somehow and putting the blame on me. She gets angry, believing that it's my fault, some, some, some kind of, uh, nasty act that was done and I was the scapegoat I got accused of something that I didn't do let's say I ended up getting beat up for it she ends up slapping me putting me in it and let's just say she ends up putting me in jail because of it I get out a month later let's just say and then I still say that's not my fault. It wasn't me. And even if so, even if someone were to somehow prove it to her, finally they proved it. They proved that that girl was actually uh, that she actually they actually put me in jail for something that I didn't do. That I got accused of something that I didn't do. That she hated me for no reason, no good reason. It was actually the other guy's fault. She is still going to forgive him because of the way he makes her feel. She doesn't care about right or wrong. If she still has the hots for this guy, she'll say, was she okay? What she did was wrong. That was mean. Don't ever do that again. But I'm still going to fuck you. And this guy, that the nice guy, I'm not going to give him the time of day because he's, I'm not attracted to him. He's too boring. He's too, he's too this and that. What's wrong with this picture? 
Tell me what's wrong. That's why I cannot stand this whole bullshit about People just don't want to believe that life is Darwinistic. It's about who has the advantage, who has... I mean, I could be, if I wanted to, if I, if I had all the good things, all the good qualities, if I wanted to, I could, I could, you know, with a bunch of different women and this and that, and and, and, put, and just for the fun of it, just, for, just for, uh, for laughs or for kicks, I could end up ruining some guy's life who's a big-time Delta or Omega an incel, a loser, and I feel bad about it. And I can always get away with it. Like I said before in in a couple of videos, if you have the look of an alpha male, if you have a look of this, of this gorgeous, he has his shit together type of guy, he's not going to suffer much. Hardly anything at all. Well, the loser, the Omega, will always get shit on. The he would always get shitted on. And that it's life. Life isn't about right and wrong. It doesn't exist. It never did. It's all about advantage. Hello. Hi. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments, you know what to do. And this is Dare to Speak. And to all of you. Take care.